The Army wants to make uniforms out of hemp, and Mississippi now has legal access to medical cannabis. This is Gary Miller with Verahill, keeping you up to date with the latest in cannabis news. The U.S. Army is looking for contractors who can supply hemp yarn to make new uniforms that will help snipers remain undetected within close proximity of the enemy forces. This harkens back to the Revolutionary War where Washington soldiers wore hemp fabric. Hemp is resistant to water and is windproof, being beneficial for adjusting to harsh environments. This could be beneficial for masking smell as well in a wartime environment. As of July 1st, medical cannabis is legal in Mississippi. While the program is not yet operational, Mississippi Medical Cannabis Program Director Chris Jones told the Eagle that dispensaries and other facilities would open later this year. Under the program, patients will be allowed to purchase up to 3.5 grams of cannabis per day, or about 3 ounces per month. Limits struck between lawmakers and Republican Governor Tate Reeves, who had threatened to veto the bill with higher purchase limits. Cannabis products will be taxed at production and sell, and all products must be grown indoors. Be sure to follow us for more details. In Japan, products with THC are illegal, and possession of them can net you five years in prison. But people are exploiting a loophole. There is a loophole there with regards to synthetic cannabinoids as they are not banned and the government is struggling to keep up. Cannabis advocates blame the government's strict control on the more dangerous alternatives. Unfortunately, what has been created is a moonshine-like environment where synthetic cannabinoids have been cultivated underground. U.S. lawmakers have been quick to raise the alarm, with 17 states banning synthetic cannabinoids in the last year. So, go ahead and like this video and give us a follow of Ariel to stay up to date with the latest in cannabis news. Thanks for watching.